see it. Hello, this is not a spring chicken bikinis out. If you're wondering what in the world am I looking at scissors, it's because, yes, how else do you think I maintain these beautiful locks? But actually, I was, I was fortunate. Well, there's a couple of things that we did is, um, yes, we started doing a beer conditioner. People are going, what? Wouldn't you rather drink the beer instead of using it on your hair? Well, beer has these how should we say, these carbohydrates along with a little bit of vinegar and some oil to help condition your hair. So it, it actually feels really, really good. So see, part of it is, yeah, how else do you think? Because you know, by the time my hair gets this long, it stays on my head pretty, a pretty long time. This is something new that I just added to my routine, and I think, um, I think it's a keeper, I really. Well, she loves the feel. It looks it's sort of green, oily the first day, but then you mm -hmm. you rinse it out the next time. So and it feels really, really good. Yeah. But, but one of the things is I do get my hair trimmed, and as you know, I'm well. Let's just say I've been very fortunate during my lifetime where I've had somebody that was oh yes, the national what is the national spokesperson, national makeup artist for Aveda, yeah. also a national. Um, one for she's, icon she's one of icon national stylist. Yeah, she's one of the top oh, in the world. Oh, that's true, they were world. Both she world. was one of the top in the world, and she came out of retirement to do your hair. I know, and then the other one from Aveda did their their um, campaigns for shooting, and she was the one that styled my hair. But see, part of it is right now my hair is more just on the more simple side, straight. So what we did is we borrowed Monty's scissors. Yeah. I know this sounds kind of crazy, but see, these are Monty's, these are Monty's hair utensils. And while you're thinking that might be kind of funny, because Monty's a show dog, Monty Bubbles, I trim Monty's hair, and I, I did discover that Monty's styling tools, these by themselves, and she also has more than that, these are the main ones, that these are actually more than um, somebody brings home work full time at McDonald's. For a month. For a month. For a month, not a week. And that's a before month. taxes. A <laughs> month, because show dogs are got off of the These are, I remember when I went to go, I'm like, there are how much for this? Is well, no, these are the really good ones. These are the ones. Yeah. And I checked around to all the different places. And, and well, they're so precise that the ends of the hair almost end up in a powdery form because they're, they've got so short. Yeah, and there's like how many slices to the inch, and then these have a little wave in them. Yeah. And, going, and you notice these scissors? Yeah, and yes. that's for curving the ends. And you got straight ones, notice, yes. right? And then another the little bit. Yeah. <laughs> All those fancy. I know, it got <laughs> awful expensive too. But see, part of it, are, those are Monty's tools. This is my tool. That's her. This is, these are my kitchen shears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that end up. Okay, this is really bad. We have scissors that will cut paper, um, but these are the scissors that cut everything else. No. I was there. That it's... sounds bad. I need to get me some... Part of it is Monty scissors are really good. Yeah, well, it, it, Monty scissors are... But see, Monty scissors are also sharpened by pros, too. Well, they do. They do get sharpened by... I know, they're thinking, it's kind of funny. They're like, why do you want to cut your hair with Monty scissors? Uh -huh. Because you're not going to find hey, scissors this expensive in hair salons. Um, because they'll use, everybody will use the scissors that they feel most comfortable with, which might be a, a, a dollar ninety, you know, from the dollar store. Which reminds me, now I want to go get another pair of scissors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they really do make a difference. And yeah. see, these have a way, there's also one that has a blades on both sides. Then you have to be really careful because those cut a lot of hair all at yeah. once. But, but um, this, these are thinning shears. This hair is a six-year-long project, and you know because it's just. And we've had people that have cut it, and they really screwed the cut. They cut it at an angle, and we try to keep the hair right over the bottom of the of the swimsuit. So we did. There was a good inch cut off of that though. So. It does, because the line is very important, and then the side the ends were curved so we could look like it wasn't. <laughs> so, how important is a hairstyle? Well, just look at um, how often celebrities change it. Either they change it all the time, or actually, my hair is probably more similar to what you call broadcaster hair. Yeah. Which is, yeah. And they go, What is that? Because broadcaster hair, when they go in, it's like it's the 
same cut, just trim it like a quarter of an inch. Yeah. Or whatever, you know, just a fraction so it looks exactly the same. Oh, I mean, I, I, I worked on a movie, uh, a World just War II movie set in a submarine, and the captain of the ship always was critical of the men's haircuts. And he gets set down on a thing and he's busy, this is back near when I was just smoke, he's busy smoking and turning his head to right and to left and up and down as he's talking to people and he's smoking. And uh, the, the, the uh, cook who was the barber couldn't cut his hair whatsoever and he gets up and looks at the hair in the mirror and he said, now that's how I want you to cut people's hair on this boat. <laughs> and you know, it's precise, you know, you know they didn't, didn't do a thing but that was perfect, that's how I wanted it done. So how important is hair? Well, just get a bad haircut. <laughs> no, you actually, you, you have seen, she, uh, we won't name the place, but they do make their living really doing a lot of people. Well, you know, hair. part of it might have been my directions and she didn't clarify because they said that I oh. wanted to cover it here. Yeah. But what happened was it covered it with the hair here, but it didn't cover the it hair in the, the back. Hair in the so back. she cut, it was a horrible cut. I mean, so you couldn't, could, the hair did not come forward for months. So that time you saw only the hair from the, the front, but it, it has been longer, but we've, we, we actually, we're trying to keep it at the same size because she's got a nervous habit when she says, well, which is to of, trim part, on her hair. Part of it is after it gets longer, it's... It splits the ends. Yeah, well the other part is, is the longer your hair, the thinner it gets because it's fullest right at the top of your hair. Yeah. So the longer you get, longer, 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 it starts getting thinner, thinner, thinner. Which is why we're trying to stop it with the old, it's the old world beer rinse and it, it, it did work on her hair because she'd been loved, she'd been running her hands through her hair, <laughs> so everybody noticed it. I didn't like it when it felt greasy from No, the but it does get greasy as all get out when you first do it because you have to let it set in. You, I mean, if you go put it in and wash it out immediately, you've just done the whole thing. But the next day, you go and give it another wash, and it crumbs out magnificent. But we, we, uh, we wanted her to get her hair done because by the time you've seen this, she will be at Comic Con. We wanted her hair done, you know, professionally before she's down there because she's basically going to hopefully meet with the new Captain America and maybe Harrison Ford and a few others. So she wants to look at her best. So when the hair was important because it just, you know, it's, it's, it does, you don't want to know what hair costs to have done today, folks, for drug. Actually, if you have a girlfriend or if you're married, yeah, you know how much it costs. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're talking a good two bills to have hair done. Three bills. Three bills. Well, I, I don't, I also, that, that, that doesn't even include the tip, does it? Um, no, and then tip on top of it. But they will go feed the meter on your car. That's not of them, and they will provide you with drinks and stuff. But it's a, women's hair in the industry. I mean, no wonder people basically, you got a lot of hair cutters that are actors because all the money are coming from the hair business. Well, you know, I have a friend that's got a, um, a small private spa, and part of it is, is I'm, I'm looking at all of she says, no. She, I said, well, how's business? She says, well, she says, they have to get it done because part of it is, is the people that are modeling and acting, they make their money off of their appearance. So they're getting spray tans, they're getting eyelashes, they're getting hair, they're getting, you know, all of that yeah. stuff done. And it's just expensive to maintain. We just thought she'd like to see what she looks like after she's had her hair all done. This was a two day, actually a three day thing for the hair. Three days. So, so we go to, she goes to a lot of trouble for you, so. Well, usually we'll spread it out, but you know, part yeah. of it is, it was all, all done because I'm going to an event. Yeah, all done which actually came up on the spur of the moment. She got really lucky and we got so, because yeah, there are no rooms in San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so thank heavens for relatives. <laughs> But she's all going to be by herself, all of Bikinis are fans. She will be there. She'll be the pretty young Asian girl with the glasses, probably, you know, talking to... I'll be in know. a celebrity suite most of the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, part of it is, I don't know how much time I'll actually be at Comic-Con. That's the funny part about it. No one, it, no one in the industry really goes to Comic-Con other than to a panel. They go to the peripheral events around Comic-Con because 
they can't trust the sub people. They, they don't. Here's the thing: security must go. Or actually, we've been to Comic Con. We really did not like it because it's not. We're going to talk from one wall to the other wall. There were so just, many people. Oh, you couldn't get through the aisles. We could not get through to do our interviews. And then we found out that we're press is basically not allowed privileges. So, mm -hmm. but now. We also found out that most of the things with the major people because of security are not done at Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. Which must piss off the people that pay the tickets to go. Well, they go to see the panel and then the, the people from the panel go. Yeah. But, so I yeah. know, kind of a crazy thing. Yeah. You know, see part of it is sometimes it's all on the cut. <laughs>